What's happening, I'm as Dan Lawless here for West Ham Fan TV. And after uh, much speculation and rumour going on today, the club have released a statement on Andy Carroll and Winston Reid. I mean, there was all sorts of rumours going on. They got into a fight. They were out, you know, on the piss. Uh, they were turned up, uh, missed curfew or something like that. Um, all sorts of rumours, one wild speculation. But the club have come out and released a statement and said that both uh, Andy Carroll and Winston Reid um, have picked up injuries or aggravated injury, uh, previous injuries in the case of Reid, I think, um, and could be out for a minimum of three months each. A minimum of three months each. And it's one of them things, it's not surprising, but it's... It's just one of them things, you just end up shaking your head. And I really, I was, I was speechless because it's, what can you say? Winston Reid obviously picked up that, that uh, serious injury last season. Um, you know, so I think it's just a continuation of, of that. Uh, I mean, he's been injured quite a few, quite a bit in the last few seasons. He's 30 years old now. And um, yeah, I think his time's sort of coming to an end, but... You know, I've I haven't really got any um, bad feelings towards Reed. I just think he's he's one of the things he, he's got one of them injuries that he'll just never be able to get over. Um, but you know, scored the last goal at Upton Park, gave us some great you know great years. You know, I remember I remember the times when he was trying to you know Tottenham and Arsenal were coming in for him, trying to sign him off us. Um, but he's on a six-year deal, which we gave him I think in 2015. So I think he's still got. What, like five years on that? Four years? So, well, no, <laughs> three years, obviously. My maths is well off today. Um, three years on that, on that left, on that six year deal, and he, at 30 years old. So, if with injuries the way he is, it's going to be hard moving him on. Um, but when three, I mean, we moved when we first, that's the first season at the London Stadium, he was one of our best players. He was unbelievable that season. And since then, like last season, he was just constantly injured injured and it's thinking a lot of time he'd get injured in the warm-ups before the games like he'd be on the team team sheet and then the next thing you know he's not there so yeah I you know he's been with us since 2010 eight years but um yeah I just think I think his time's done so it's but it's going to be hard shifting him and finding a club to, to sell him to Andy Carroll on the other hand um, is another story entirely it's just Unbelievable. I don't think that he's ever started a season for us. Um, you know, so he's never been fit for the first few games of the season. Always seems to be injured for the summer. I don't know if he just likes to get him, keep his calendar free for festival season or something. But he's just every single time. And it's you look to now and thinking, oh, wow, Andy Carroll is going to do a pre-season. Like, now he's going to get pre-season and stuff like that. He, you know, I don't think he ever does pre-season. And he gets injured during pre-season. You know, he's got one year left on his contract. Now, for me, I was looking to for us to sell him this summer and bring in some, you know, bring in some finances, get his 90 grand a week off the wage books and, you know, put that put the money we could get for him back into the transfer funds. But he goes and gets injured during the transfer window, like he did in January when Chelsea was sniffing around. So he can't even do that. And it's one of the things, as you'd say, I mean, with Carroll... You know, he's not, he doesn't get injured on purpose, which is obviously true. But the bloke has made 90 appearances for this club in five years and scored 26 goals. That's shocking. And Craig Bellamy came out and said, uh, I think this was last season, I think he came out and said that, you know, he just didn't, he never trained hard enough. He never really worked hard enough in training. He never really pushed himself. He'd feel a bit of, a bit of pain in training a little bit of something, he'd, you know, he'd stop. And I think that, it seems to be a lot of the time, when I hear these injuries, there's always a word in like, oh, Andy Carroll, he, he felt his thigh, or he felt felt his groin, and all the time, like, I remember Bilic constantly, oh, he's felt a groin, felt a groin. It's like, you know, you wonder if he just feels a little bit sore, and he goes, nah, I can't do it. Um, but fitness is definitely a, a key. If you're not keeping yourself fit, then you know, you're going to pick up more injuries. It's like, like an elastic band, right? If an elastic band's sort of cold, it's more likely to snap. Whereas when it's warm, it's warmed up, it's, you know, it's going to be a lot more, um, 
you know, stretchy in a way. If that make if that analogy makes any sense to you guys, and, and it just seems to that be that what it is, you know, he just don't work hard enough in training. I mean, when he's on the football pitch, I've seen him. He, you know, he does work hard a lot of the time, but I just think he don't like training. He don't like football. It's been well publicised that he's not into football, and um, I just think it's proved to be a very terrible sign. This was a sighting, a signing. Sorry, a lot of us were really excited about when we first made it. I remember uh, me and uh, my mate Jace, we was in the gym, we got the news, and we was buzzing, like we was over the moon because we thought, ah, oh, Big Sam, Andy Carroll, match made in heaven, he's going to go and score loads of goals, it's going to be an amazing signing. I mean, that was back when he was still just like really highly rated, and uh, it's just proved to be an awful signing. I mean, he's given us some great memories, like he's really given us some great memories. I mean, that's that goal against Palace. Uh, winner against Chelsea at the last season up to Park, you know, he's come on and he's scored some important goals for the club, but it's just not good enough. And that, you know, how many times have you heard the phrase "on his day, he's unplayable"? On his day, on his day, and he's, it's the, his days come few and far between. So it looks like he's going to go on a free next season. We're not going to get anything back from him, and it's going to be another season where he's out for most of it. And they've said three months minimum. This is the thing. Andy Carroll, a lot of players, right, when they say all right, they're out for this long, they usually sort of get fit a little bit earlier. But with Carroll, it's like they always downplay it. Like, how many times was it, you know, last season or the season before when it was like, yeah, Carroll will be out for a week or so, but he should be back for this game. That game comes along, no Carroll. Like, and they're just sort of quiet, quiet. Then it comes like, oh, yeah, no, he'll be back for this game a week later. And then he just, they just sort of drag it out because they know how the fans are going to be. Um, so... Yeah, he'll probably, you know, be out three, four months, whatever. Then he's got to come back. Then he's got to get his match fitness up again. You know, he won't, because he won't, all he would have played is one preseason game, which which he did score in, but that's all he would have played. So it's it's one of them things. Like, but so by the time you get, like, Andy Carroll back at his best, you know, we're probably going to be talking about October time. And then he'll be out for Christmas, as he usually is. Then he'll come back maybe like February time for a bit and then be out until the last game of the season, which is the same thing. And that's that's it, you know. So, you know, I, 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 it's, I like Carroll. There's things I like about Carroll, but I just don't think he takes the game seriously enough. I don't think he takes his football career seriously enough. Um, you know, it's well documented he likes a party. There's a song about it for crying out loud. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm just... Really, really annoyed. If he could have just stayed fit and we could have tried and offload him. And and that's the thing, like, for me, he should either retire or he needs to go to, like, a, a really easy, non-taxing, non-demanding league. Because I don't know any club in this country that will touch him with a barge. But I don't know any top club that's going to touch him now. So maybe he should have took that China deal when it come up. Made a big load of money in China. Stayed there for a season. And then retire. That's what he'd, he'd have loved that. We would have got a good bit of money for him. But no, you know, he wanted to stay in East London, which they're settled. But now, look, he's out for another season. Then he's going to struggle to find a club. I mean, he's, pro he's been on 90 grand a week. I hope he's been saving it because, like I said, I think it's going to be very hard for him to find a club now who's going to take that risk on him because every season he has played, you know, I think the most games he's played in a single season has been like uh, like 15 to 19, something like that. So he's never played a full season. And I don't think he's ever played over half a season significantly. Um, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think anyway. I'm just, I'm fed up of it now and I just can't wait to get him off the books. And it's a shame how it has to go like this. But like I said, I think, I think he's got all the talent in the world, like, Andy Carroll, naturally talented, if he really was passionate about the game, if he really took things seriously and really just trained hard, worked on his fitness, then, you know, he'd be a great player. And people talk about, you know, will say, oh, well, you know, you, with, there's times we've seen him training alone and coming early and stuff like that. You don't, if you don't see him train, you don't know how he trains. You don't know how hard he's working in training. This is what I, I had an argument with another sort of West Ham account. I won't mention his name, but at an argument, he was like saying, oh, well, I'm not going to trust uh, Bellamy's, Craig Bellamy's uh, opinion, bitter ex-player. I'll trust what I see on the football pitch. It's like, 
Well, no, the geezer's actually seen him train. He knows how he trains. And we're talking about the reasons why he picks up injuries. Listen, no one's questioned when he's on that football pitch, he's brilliant. But when he's training, he don't train hard enough. He doesn't work hard enough to keep himself in a situation where he's not picking up injuries all the time. I mean, some of them are probably like freak injuries and things like that. But you don't get injured that many times unless, you know, there's either something wrong with you or, you know, you're just not keeping yourself in, in you know, top physical shape. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's one of the things we just have to put up with it for one more season and then get him off the books. Like, just really, just let him go and not get anything back for him. And I thought the least he could do, have done for this club, with all we've invested in him, is get us a transfer fee for him. But it is what it is. Never mind. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, Reed, um, you know, unfortunate. I just think he's just, he's getting a bit older now and I think he's just picked up <clears throat> an injury that he can't shift and it's going to be one of them situations. So... Um, what what happens with him next if we can sell him when he's fit maybe in january or the next season you know then well we can do that carol i think we just have to hold and wait until um you know next season i think the club will really if he's fit in january i think the club will really try and look for some clubs for him um you know and try and get a little something for him but it's going to be hard We'll see. It will come back when he like for a few games in October. He'll score a goal. Everyone will forget, you know, all his injuries and start say, "Oh yeah, Andy Carroll, he's back. Oh, brilliant!" And then it's all going to happen again. Repeat. But the cycle will be over by the end of the season unless the clubs lose their absolute minds and offer him a new deal, which I can't see happening. Um, but anyway, the club's making some brilliant signings, so that's something we've got to look forward to. Brilliant transfer window. We're going to be back with more transfer news. I'm buzzing with what what we're doing at the moment. Let's let's have a bit of positivity about positivity about that. And uh, one thing left to say: Come on, you irons.